Fox's fire with Hill and Ackham and hundreds. It's been a tough season so far for the Foxes. Seven games played without a single win. Four ending in defeat to leave Leicestershire marooned to the bottom of Division 2. Second place Nottinghamshire are the visitors this week. The Outlaws just nine points behind top team Middlesex. And it was the visitors who struck first. Knotts handed the ball and delivering through James Pattinson in just the second over. Azad nicking off to Hutton to go for five. Leicestershire recovered quickly. Patel and Hill struck up a partnership to carry their side past 50. A boundary got them to the mark and another to the next ball, the shot of the morning so far. Patel pushed one down the ground to the ropes to bring up the 50 partnership, but that was the end of his contribution. Out soon after, caught by Clark off the bowling of Patterson. It was a really intrepid innings from Lewis Hill, scoring at a runner ball and racking up the boundaries with ease to move within touching distance of a 50 and Leicestershire to the cusp of three figures. Ackerman took them to the 100, quick running from the pair added three to the total. Hill followed by reaching his 50 off just 52 balls, up to the mark on the back foot to Hutton, four more to the Leicestershire number three and the partnership soon matched his return. At the first break of the day, Leicestershire will have been pleased with their response, up to 129 for two, Hill leading the fight with 61. The pattern of play continued after the break. Fewer boundaries, but runs are plenty for Leicestershire. Hill, a fitting man to take them to 150. He'd bring up the 100 partnership too, prodding one into the offside, both men quick enough to pick up the required single. This was impressive stuff from the county championship's lowest ranked side. Hill continuing to pile the pain on Knott's bowlers, and soon enough he was chasing 100. After a slew of boundaries, a single was all he needed. His ton scored off 124 balls and met with a punch of the air by the Foxes number three. Ackerman too had a landmark total to relish, bat spinning round his head as he carved James to the boundary, bonus points sealed as well, 200 runs on the board for the hosts. Mullaney finally removed Hill, an impressive knock brought to an end by the Nottinghamshire skipper. Hill bowled for 104, the relief palpable. As Ackerman built on his solid innings, Vian Mulder struggled to get going and found himself heading back with just 11 to his name, caught behind off the bowling of Pattinson. Louis Kimber stuck with the former captain, Leicestershire still on top at the break, the score 233 for four. It was another impressive partnership for Leicestershire. Kimber was doing more than just holding his own, Ackerman picking up where he left off and guiding his side past 250. It didn't take long for them to reach a 50 partnership, just 65 balls in fact when Kimber pushed one down the ground for a single. Ackerman was soon grinning from ear to ear. With two runs off Lyndon James, he went to his 100, scored off 210 balls, no longer the skipper, but still leading from the front. Patterson White wouldn't have minded the way Kimber brought the 300 up for Leicestershire, the shot uppish as it scooted away to the boundary, and he struck with the very next ball. Defence is beaten, Kimber bowled for 33. Finally, Knotts found a bit of a groove, swindles out for one, bowled by a beauty of an outswinger from Hutton. Mike joined Ackerman and looked to stick around through to the end of the day, but Ackerman couldn't make it. A tame edge to Mullaney saw him depart for an exquisite 116. The damage had been done and he played a crucial role. Captain Callum Parkinson was unable to get off the mark and fell to the same combination, the wicket almost a carbon copy of Ackerman's before him, and it signalled the end of the day. It was a really impressive performance from a Leicestershire side who'd found it tough going so far in the LV County Championship, but Nottinghamshire won't be put off. They know they've got the batting to cope with whatever is put in front of them, but first on the agenda on day two, we'll be picking up the final two wickets.